Hey, good evening. Hello again. Good evening, good evening Gash Lega. What is this? What are you? Who, me? Yeah. I'm in Minnesota. My goodness, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I travel all over the place now. I'll see you, you next week. You become viewers now. Hmm. You become now go back to more some sort of viewers. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm a good boy. Yeah, good, good. Anyway, yeah. Hey, Margaret. Hey, Moni. Hey, Moni. How are you? Hi, Geshela. I'm fine. Good, good evening, Geshela. Como dole? Como dole? <laughs> hey, Karen. Rika. Angie. Palm. Debra. <laughs> Andrew. Andrew. Andrea. Andrea Bok. Hello. Hi, Geshela. Hello, hello, hello. <coughs> I'm Mr. Jeff. Good, good. Now you sit, sit properly. You need, you need to, you need to, you need to, in order to find the resort to pray or practice to, to how to lessen the Dharma, okay? <laughs> <coughs> You need to study that. <laughs> okay, anyway, just kidding. Okay, everyone, we're going to do a little meditation, okay? And then come to the Java now. I'm just so get to come to Java. I'm going to do the Java. I'm going to test Mandawa. So, when you do a meditation, there's a little difference, you know, when, when you do it in group or when you do it individually. So usually you know, when you do the individual uh, meditation or you know just meditation do meditation individually, that is when you have a master you know, on your own. So you don't need anybody to lead you, you just do you can do it on your own. So that's better in, in that way if you are you know, a little bit trained or master, uh, then you can do it. But if you know, otherwise, then it's good to do in a group so that you can be led how to do the meditation. And then also, of course, when you do uh, it in a place like this, yes, it definitely makes a big difference. And when you do it at home, no matter how you know, uh, much uh, time you spend you know, or how energy uh, you put into doing the practice, uh, unless, like I said, you, know, you are already mastered or trained well, uh, it, it becomes you know, uh, pretty difficult uh, to do it properly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's do that. That's the thing I'm doing. I'm going to jump to the ground. Jump you're going to meditate on refuge. Normally, we talk about uh, taking refuge in the Buddha, but what is Buddha? You know, and where is Buddha? We say there is Buddha, but where is he? Where? So we say that's in the pure net, right? That we we point you know, to the uh, to the sky, you know, space in the uh, in the, um, in, on top of us, and then we just say, oh, maybe oh, this, that's where the Buddha is. 
But uh, Buddha has been here, right? So he has he has appeared in this world. Uh, so how does it look? You know, so just like the the statue that we have uh, in the altar. Uh, so it's, it's a similar uh, to that. That's how he looks like you know, when he came um, uh, in the human form uh, in this world. <laughs> Then also we might have a doubt uh, about uh, different kinds of statues, like different shapes and different colors and so forth. And uh, the reason for that, you know, is like it is explained, um, uh, in, in order to fit you know, uh, the disposition or the need you know, of the sentient beings. You know. According to their disposition, then uh, the Buddhas appeared in certain color, shape, and so forth. And and, and also in how the how the buddhas you know, appear you know, to the uh, practitioner or meditator so when the meditator meditated on so you know, on the buddha then uh, the buddha appeared in that aspect uh, in that you know, form so um, uh, so this is how it was you know, how it appeared you know, to the, the vision you know, of the meditator and then later it was explained you know, to the artist and then artists you know, put it in the image like that and uh, so this is what Geshe Tsuga you know, uh, explained you know, when I asked him about different uh, aspects you know, of 21 Tavas. <laughs> And uh, the Buddha, you know, is a, you know, uh, is an enlightened being, right? You know, fully enlightened being, who who was uh, who was a sentient being, just like ourselves, with all the um, afflictive emotions. And after having eliminated all those uh, afflictive emotions and trained the mind, you know, uh, uh, you know to fullest, you know, to the um, the bodhicitta altruism, and then and eventually became a Buddha. And, and then, um, you know, so that's how uh, uh, Buddha appeared, you know, as, a, as an enlightened being performing that deed. Um, and, uh, and then later the artists, you know, they draw and, and then put it in a from a portrait or tanka. And then they said, this is how Buddha looked like. And so is it possible you know, to be uh, free from all those negative uh, uh, afflictive emotions? Um, and uh, how do you free them? You know? What kind of sign do you see in you know, having free them? And so forth. So, so that's what is the the logical reason behind that, you know, to prove that uh, that the mind can be free from these afflictive emotions, you know, that we can uh, get rid of these uh, afflictive emotions uh, or obscurations, right? And um, so then the example that's given in the text, you know, it's like you know, the mind is like a space and the delusions or the afflictive emotions are like a, like a cloud. So that's temporarily there, you know, um, obstructing the sun. So the sun is like the, the wisdom, right? The, the, uh, um, the light you know, that makes you, uh, uh, that you know, enables you to see the things clearly. And so, but, you know, if there is a cloud there, then you won't be able to, that sign, sun will not be able to shine. 
So you have to clear the cloud, you know, for the sun, you know, to be and to be able to shine on this world like that. And so, like you know, in the case of our own mind, right? So sometimes our mind is very relaxed, very happy, but other time, and uh, suddenly, uh, out of nowhere, you know, it becomes uh, very gloom and uh, very stressful, like that, right? So is this it, it changes a lot, like that. You okay, Bobby? Okay, you want this? I have one. Thank you. Maybe the incense. Oh, yeah, I put it there. Maybe the tree strong. Maybe the mango. Come to the hills or garza. Maybe you can. You can put it outside. Put it outside, yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, you can just go on. Go on. Just put out that port. Uh, yeah, no, you yes. can just leave the port right. Just leave that far. Okay. We <coughs> think some you want to try your Can the mind be I mean can the reflective emotion be separated by from the mind? I don't know. Well, yeah. How do I know directly myself? It's, that um, they're not always there. So the situation dependent, so they rise and fall. So if they're not there all the time, then they don't have to be there anytime. Yeah, that's good idea. That's good. You're positive. Jennifer looking, she's like thinking that. She started to video. So how you, what do you poop though? Permanent poop. I don't know how you, you can prove that. <laughs> then how, how you kind of... You can prove that. No, no. So if you don't accept it, then you don't agree with what he explained, then you should be able to give, the, uh, give a better explanation about it. <laughs> I, 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 just by fact of that the thing that the, the delusions aren't always there doesn't mean that they will never come back. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, of course, it, it is it's not saying that it won't come back, but but it you know it shows that it is it is not permanent, right? It's not going to be there all the time. Uh, it's, it's impermanent, it moves around and uh, it can you know be completely removed. So the most important thing is because it is uh, impermanent, therefore it can be changed. Like the weather, you know, today is very hot, right? So like when when it is very hot, then uh, the the cold goes away. So just like that, you know, if we have a, a more peaceful mind, then our more the stressful mind will just go away by itself. So that unpeaceful or stressful mind, you know, if you are <coughs> able to remove that completely, then that's when you become you know, enlightened. Well, what's the proof that you can remove it for completely forever? So, then, so uh, you, you can come to understand that um, by, uh, uh, by looking at Buddha's you know, advice or teachings. So if it if the if the afflictive emotions are in the nature of the mind, then it cannot be removed. So the 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 proof that it is not in its nature uh, is just like Mark said, you know, it's there sometimes but not the other times. So that shows that it is not in the nature of the mind. So if it is in the nature of the mind, then it cannot be separated. It cannot be like there sometime and not there other time.
So this is what it is quoted in the text, you know, it's just the, 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 the nature of the mind is clear and light and uh, the stains in the heart you know, temporary. Just like the cloud, you know, uh, clouds are not in the nature of uh, sky. And uh, therefore, yeah, sometimes you see the cloud and sometimes you don't see it in the sky. So like, you know, something that we are very attached to when we are young. And then later, you know, when you're grown up or when you're older, then you don't see much attraction, you know, to that uh, thing. Because right? you're attached to other things. Yeah, but I mean, to that thing, that attachment to that thing, you know, that's gone, right? So that has, I mean, it's not, not gone, but maybe, you know, it has uh, um, faded away or it's just uh, kind of uh, uh, inactive, you know, become like inactive. So the, the fact that it is not in the nature of the mind and it you know, it's real temporary, you know, it gives the hope that it can be removed completely. Why it is not in the nature? Because it comes sometime and then it doesn't come other time, right? That shows that it is not in nature. So that's how you proved. And then you can from from seeing the delusions and how they uh, arise in your mind and how they you know sometimes go away and then how they uh, affect you like how they you know it how it harms you and so forth. by seeing that you can see that uh, uh, the delusions are not in the nature of the mind. Okay. Well, I think, I mean, I know, you know, I read all this, but I, I think like you use the example of the sky and the clouds, you know, but clouds will come. It's the nature of weather that it will change. And so what, how do we know that it's the nature, like that you can permanently eliminate all of this? So do you have some kind of mind? I mean, do you, do you have some kind of affective emotion? And when you were very young, and but now it's no longer there. Well, depends. Emotion or some any kind. But, you know, I mean, they're just different. I mean, you had anger when I was young, and anger when you're older. You have attachment when you're young, you have attachment when you're older. No, it's not like that. Better you now. Example: I'm sure you want to have the same type. Super. Insure. Insure. What the chapa show show you over. So, like you know, when you were younger, you were very attached to the games, like say. Kind of some some kind of games, right? But not do. But as you grow older, you don't get attached to those, you know, um, and you don't get even interested in you know, to play those uh, games, right? Different games. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, you know, but the but the but the attachment to that game, that particular game, when you were in a young, why why they, where did that go away? That attraction or attachment to that game. Okay, anyway, okay, now we're not talking too much. We could do a meditation, okay. That can be done as you can see, some children with the Bella, good and the Oshin Bella, some children and the Tauji or some chip. That day, an edgy, that jumped them up. And it takes two years go soon. Two years, and it jumped me. And it grunt jumped them up, crying, jumped you with that door crying. And it did two years, and that jumped me, so much. So let's meditate now. So just visualize you know, the Buddha in front of you in the space, just like the, the statue of Buddha you see here. 
and um, and so that think of that you know, the Buddha you know, as the, the refuge you know, the object of refuge the Buddha uh, Buddha jewel and then uh, um, the, you know his um, uh, you know his uh, realizations you know his knowledge you know is the, the actual refuge and uh, the himself also is a, a sangha jewel so there's thing like that uh, and you know uh, hold like that you know, for and so or, or, or whichever kind of other buddhas that you have uh, faith in um, or feel close with and then just visualize that and then uh, with this thought you know, of seeing the uh, the buddha jiva dharma jiva and the sangha jiva there and so then just try to hold it in your mind, and that object of refuge, the other Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha Jewel, uh, in, in your mind. And uh, if um, other minds in appear arise, then let it arise. Don't try to stop it. Don't you know uh, focus on stopping that, but let it rise. But uh, don't lose your you know, focus you know, on the uh, the object of refuge. But if you find yourself losing that object you know, of refuge, as you made object of meditation, um, uh, the Buddha Jiva, Dharma Jiva, and the Sangha Jiva, if you can find yourself losing that object, then uh, then you know, uh, imagine uh, a nectar flowing down you know, from the uh, the object of refuge and uh, uh, blessing your mind stream and so forth like that. So think like that. You know, so if you um, uh, find yourself losing the object. Okay.
How's it? Going everywhere? Amen. Going everywhere is just a little bit stable. How's it? But sometimes you go off and think about something else you don't even realize you broke up, right? Yeah, okay, well, that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's not a cousin, shooting my dog with her. I'm the Shuluka to church it to me, but you go to church in the Saiba. We all ordered up to uh, verse 61 in, uh, in the letter to a friend, right? By another dinner. In fact, to church it to me, that's what. 62. 62? We, we finished 61. Yeah. That's 61 in Cologne. Yeah. What is 61 about? Four great wheels. What do you mean? Get a chunk in the shade of the law. Pajan, Pajan, Lava, the Major, the Susu, and the Chushawala. Read the Jungle research. So, what are the four ways? Uh, can you explain in your own words? Like, you know, not doesn't exactly the same word as in the text, but say in this way, like oh, so in order to practice dharma, these are the these are the four conditions or several yeah. conditions you need to practice dharma. Yeah. So the first is that um, the the conditions um, are conducive. You're in a place that's conducive for practice. Uh, the second is that you have um, uh, you have the um, virtuous friends, um, in particular a teacher. Uh, the third is that you have uh, your spire and have uh, devotion and, uh, and faith. And then the fourth is um, that you have, um, you have an accumulation of merit from the past. Good, yeah, good. Like that. Sometimes we go to just text, we just take all in text away. We need something to our own understand. Of course, we are not going beyond the text. But then, like that, good, okay? Yeah, that the reason is when the time should go to the reason is the guy should do the Okay, close to You know what I'm Okay, so let's read the verse 62. Buddha said that reliance on a spiritual friend is the way to completely fulfill a virtuous life. Many who relied on the victorious one obtain peace. Therefore, rely upon holy beings. So, what is he talking about here? Spirit emotion? That's right, yes. Or devotion or Guru Yoga? And it does also when you have a chewala, I'm going to look to chewala. So just like uh, you need a teacher you know, to uh, show you or explain to you how to do certain things, right? For any kind of knowledge in this world, you need a teacher, right? To gain that. Uh, you know, it goes along you know, with the, uh, the mundane world, right? So all the scholars in this world, they become learned, they become scholar uh, um, through relying on a teacher, right? Because there was somebody who explained to them and then they learned from that and then later they became experts or you know, learned. And so, in a similar way, uh, when you practice the Dharma, you have to also rely on a teacher. And so, this is saying that um, you know, all the knowledge in, in you, in you comes you know, from the teacher, so you all, it depends on the teacher. <coughs> And so it says that it's the, the the holy being of the teacher, you know, is the um, you know, is the uh, is the is the cause of all the uh, 
for the good, you know, virtues. Uh, so by depending on the, on the Buddha or the, or the, the spiritual friend you know, who taught you the path, right? Um, uh, you, you, know, uh, you achieve all this, you know, the, the results of uh, the enlightenment and so forth. Therefore, you have to rely on the uh, Guru or the spiritual friend. So in one hand, you know, it is becoming more and more convenient to study Dharma, right? Because you can just go online and search on Google and you will find most of the teachings there. But, uh, but those who really generate the realization are becoming less and less. <laughs> so usually you know like uh, the teachings you know, also carries the the blessing you know of the lineage the blessing of the lineage so from this to this and that's to this to this like that and all the way to oneself like you know, that's the lineage right you know from where it comes through the stream you know, of the the teaching so that carries the blessing so when you study something on the on the web, you know you are not finding you are not you are missing that that stream of uh, blessing from the gurus. So that's why it is hard to gain realizations. we go to all I say depends Uncle Google. Guru Google. Guru Google. Guru Google. Guru Google give the information, but Guru Google doesn't have the blessing, or he doesn't receive the transmission. <laughs> okay, all this diet, this is the letter, the Kaji, the get go in by the other. And those songs are about the Lama Samu and Lama Kibana, the end of the ya, and the Tempa Tagrani, Lama Kebe, and the Tita Kebana Tempa Hina, and the Yentek, the Sama Jogore is. So it is in a said in the in, in the teachings that you know you have to rely on a guru. So like if if a, um, um, a proper disciple you know, relies on a proper guru or qualified guru, then uh, you know that disciple you know will uh, receive you know, all the knowledge from the guru. And then the in the sutra, uh, Buddha said this you know, to Ananda uh, that he has to rely on a guru uh, and, a, you know, and a dharma friend or the spiritual friend. You know, uh, because uh, by depending on the guru and the spiritual friend, you will gain all the knowledges. <laughs> And so then, uh, you know, you have to rely on, a, you cannot uh, just rely on any kind of guru or teacher. Uh, you should rely on a guru uh, who is uh, uh, qualified uh, by the qualities, in the, as explained in the sutra, in the ornament of the sutra. You know, so it says rely on a spiritual friend who is uh, disciplined, calm, peaceful, in possession of superior quality, energetic, rich in scriptural knowledge, who understands reality and is skilled in explaining it. Explaining the reality of an emptiness, and who is compassionate by nature and never tires. So someone like that, you know, with the, all these qualities, uh, then you search for someone, uh, a guru with you know, these kind of qualities, and then you can rely on that, and through that you will gain all the knowledge. Compassionate. And then also, of course, you know, uh, just not having, not good enough to just have a guru 
with all these qualities, but you have to find you know, the disciple. And then when these two come together, then you know the, then the disciple will have all the knowledge and the, uh, and, the, you know, and the realizations. And so for that, it also explains uh, like uh, uh, the guru, the, the, the disciple, and it has to be like a um, uh, uh, honest, you know, has to be uh, compassionate also, and has to, has to have a very strong uh, interest in studying the Dharma and so forth. So there are many qualities of the students as well. So just like you know, someone uh, who is studying in the college uh, or school, uh, of course you need a good teacher who can teach you, but also you need the uh, the good students, right? The work hardworking students. If you don't have hardworking students, just uh, just by having a good teacher, you know, the students will not learn. They have to be also hardworking from their side. Okay. Okay, that is you want to and then when you say that the talker is touch me, call talker is you want to talk to me. So if you have such the, the like that, then uh, then the, you know you can free yourself uh, from the um, the ignorances, you know the uh, um, the, the delusions, the ignorance, and and uh, you know then gain your you know gain enlightenment. Yes, and you want to then you can do it. You want to do it. You can do it. So you can do it. 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 So by relying on the uh, on the victorious one, here it says the victorious one, but it's also meaning the, you know, the guru, right? By relying on, it, on uh, uh, the victorious one, the many achieved emancipation, and therefore you should also rely on the guru or the victorious one. I and so this is what you need, you know, uh, for in, in terms of the teacher. Uh, then after that, you know, what what other uh, uh, facilities or condi favorable conditions you need you know, to be able to practice. So, uh, uh, in the verse uh, 63 and 64. No, 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 not the feet. I'm just moving this. Okay, so we're reading? Reading. <laughs> Holding on views as an animal, a hungry ghost, or in the hells, or where there are no teachings of Buddha, as a barbarian in a remote place, or as someone unintelligent and dense, or as a long life god, any rebirth of this sort is one of the eight defective states lacking opportunity. You must find the legion that is free of these, strive to turn away from. <coughs> Yeah, so just like it is explained, you know, uh, about uh, the eight legends and the ten endowments, right? So those are the conditions, favorable conditions, you know, you need uh, to practice Dharma. <laughs> So in, in order to you know, study and practice and then eventually to gain enlightenment, what kind of favorable conditions you need? You know, what are the, um, the unfavorable conditions uh, or obstacles that, that, will, that will prevent you from uh, studying and gaining uh, the realizations? So for example, in this country to vote, right, you need to have a certain qualification, right? What kind of qualification you need you know, to vote? No, you can't. You know, just because you live in this country doesn't mean you can vote, right? right? So you have to be eligible to vote. So what what are what are the things that makes you eligible? One, you're the citizen. You have to be convicted of a felony yeah. or a crime. Yeah. Well, those are the two things that are Yeah. So those are the other things, and but main thing is that you have to be citizen in order to vote. If you are not citizen, then even if you have lived in a, lived here for 100 years, you, still, you will not be able to vote, right? So for anything, you know, you need to know a certain kind of conditions, right? Or favorable conditions. And if those favorable conditions are not met together, then you will not be able to achieve that or do that, right? And so here uh, uh, it is uh, 
like um, a lack of you know a leisure or non-freedom. This is like the non-freedom, so not having the freedom you know, to do. So if says if you have this non-freedom, then you don't have the freedom you know to do this practice. So this is also explained in the Lamrim, right? Where which part is the Lamrim? About you guys. Which means some cautious. Oh yeah. Which means So yeah, that's obvious, right? Profit <laughs> motive. Yeah. But which which uh, scope? Which category? Small, medium. Small, 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 small. Which category? What the category come from? Subject count to Yeah. What's the outline? I mean, yeah, uh, not outline. What is the subject? Uh, yeah, the category. Um, okay. Like it's like, the second outline after. Uh, oh no, the first one. The, uh, the first outline. The, 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 a human life of leisure and opportunity. Uh huh. Where they come from? Then they lose touch with what that. Then they lose touch with my goal. So the, the first main two, right? The two main subjects, two main category. So the teaching, yeah. the greatness, and then how to teach the disciples. Uh, no, yes, okay. so the relying on a guru devotion. Like, how about you guys? Yeah, you guys have relying on a guru and how then about... how to train in the path after relying on a guru. So well, that comes in that category, second category. Yeah, how are NG? Refuting the misconceptions about meditation. <laughs> I mean, Geshla, I know it as the eight freedoms and in ten endowments. That's not, not my question. But um, yeah, it's relying on a guru. Relying on a guru, that's how I know it from the Lam Rim. So this is on the relying on a guru uh, category? No. This is, this is just you got a remark, okay? There are a lot of people in the finals. They, um, they have shown their many, many times, but still, you know, we have to difficult to find that. So there are two main ones, and uh, like I said, how to you know, uh, rely on a guru who's the root of the path, and then how to train the mind in the path after relying on the guru. Okay. So, and then that second you know, category it explains it about the prophet and so forth. Okay. Meditation session. Yeah, like that. Okay. That's another. That's another. So. Here it's saying that you know if you have this, 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 then you will not be able to practice Dharma, right? right? So what what is it saying? Okay, what yeah, are the things? Give me one. What are you asking? So if you are there or if you have that, you will not be able to practice Dharma. What is that? If you have that, you will not be able to practice Dharma. Or if you are there, you will not be able to practice Dharma. Well, like if you from this, just repeating yeah, yeah, it. For, so for, if you're in a barbarian land, is yeah, that what yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. What do you mean? Oh. So what is what is the barbarian? He means that. So in this context, it means some place that uh, you know they would say that doesn't have a dharma culture. You couldn't have access. Should <laughs> So where there's no Buddha's teaching, is it? Yeah, you have no access to it. I Buddha's teaching, yeah. Mm -hmm. Where, where? Where is it in, in today? Yeah. yeah, and everyone, right now, everyone has access to it. Well, that's only very recently, though before, I mean, like, let's say in the old Soviet Union, where religion was banned, or, I mean, I would 
try it in a lot of Islamic countries, you might not get a good result. Um, yeah, I mean, it's now here in America. Yeah, okay, yeah, even here it's hard. You have to really look to find Dharma. So <coughs> it's not like when you grow up, there's Dharma all around you. So like I was almost 50 years old before I came. <laughs> that be all, yeah. The only thing was available so, was like a couple. So what of is that example? Is it, what, what is that example? That's an example of a, a barbarian, barbarian, because yeah. you know, you, it's there's, there's there's dharma. If you if you're already motivated, yeah. you know where to find it. You can find it, uh -huh. but it's not like everywhere. Like in Tibet, there used to be, or maybe still is, dharma. Everybody is practicing dharma. Or everybody around you is practicing dharma. So you know, it's easy. To find and gain interest. Okay. So in, in some way, like you know, like you said, in, in Tibet, and they have like the, the influence you know, of the culture, right? In a way, you just carry the mala and just keep on reciting. But of course, then when you uh specify the definition you know, of the practice dharma that maybe they might not eat meat either yeah so not saying that way but like that's like bob, bob explained you know so even if you are in the country where there's a dharma available but if you yourself you know is not interested and you don't, you know, reach out, you know, to the dharma, then you're like a barbarian. Okay. You have a question? Well, it, 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 it seems like uh, Lamas and Karpa uh, defines that as a place where there's not the four followers, the fully ordained monks and nuns and... Uh, and so that's, that's talking about the place, like the central place. In a remote place, in the central place, but not about the barbarian, though. But it says a barbarian in a remote place. Barbarian in a remote place, yes. Because there's. Yeah. So usually, you know, that's what, you know, like, uh, according, like, just like Bob explained, you know, usually, of course, it is in a remote place where there's no teachings of the Buddha available. You are born in that place and you have no idea about Dharma and you don't follow Dharma, then you are like a barbarian. But even if you are in the place, if you don't have the interest, and that's like a barbarian, we're not saying a bad way, but you know, like a barbarian also, because you have no interest and you you have no benefit of the dharma. So because I'm not that, therefore I have this opportunity. You know, so you have to understand that, then you take that opportunity, you grab grasp that opportunity, you know, to make good use of it. And then, you know, so it's, if you know, if, if you are in the in the time, you know, where there's uh, no access you know, to the Dharma, and then there'll be like the, the what do you call the uh, the dark era, like the the era, you know, where there's no teachings of the Buddha, where there's no uh, light of Buddha's teaching. <coughs> so can you explain the? Uh, unintelligent and dense. What it means? It says uh, as someone un unintelligent and dense. Yeah. Um, I I think that someone uh, they, I've seen that before with defective senses um, that are described as uh, you know for um, someone they sometimes say mute or uh, yeah. yeah. So not having full senses, uh, faculties. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, 
like that. So even if you're born in the time, in a place, you know, where there's a Buddhist teaching, but uh, but because you know you cannot speak or you cannot uh, memorize, you know, your mind is very like unintelligent, and uh, uh, you you know your your senses are not working properly. Therefore, you can't study or practice the Dharma. Okay. And so not having those, uh, uh, you know, but also being unintelligent and dense, you know, is an obstacle uh, from practicing Dharma. So we are free from both this both of these, right? Is it? Barbarian being from, from being barbarian and unintelligent and dense. Is it? Are you ready? But still you're not sure. Yes, we are free, okay. Okay, now you guys yeah, market explain one, another one. Geshla, which one you want me to explain? Locked up, first one, wrong view. Wrong view. So this would refer to uh, someone born in a human form in a place where there is the existence of Buddha's teaching. There's no, no, no. no wrong first, view. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, wrong view. Yeah. Wrong view, yeah. So the teaching is there. The teachers are there also available, but uh, the person do not believe in uh, Buddha and reject uh, the teachings, right? So that's wrong view. He has, there's no, he can learn, but no, he doesn't want to because he reject the uh, teachings. Come, don't believe in cause and effect, don't believe in karma, so therefore, will not. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So according to Buddhism, yes. So, so that's the kind of wrong view, right? So not believing in past and future lives, not believing in coming law, cause and effect, not believing in the three jewels like that. So if you don't believe in that, then you're holding wrong view. Then who is that person? So can you describe what kind of person has this kind of wrong view? So all the people around us here, <laughs> all our neighbors. Yeah, there's a lot of people <laughs> yeah, around that, us. Yeah, we, we say we don't we don't say it's important. We don't say that bad person. According to our experience, for like that, okay? Yeah, so, yeah, the main thing is very um is very people who is who don't believe in uh Many people don't believe there's life after death, so uh, yeah, so they yeah. don't believe there's you know. Then it's very hard to 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 accept uh, karma like reincarnation. We have a life next rebirth, all that it just cannot want to accept. Yeah. Yes, well, I have a question. Refer to fixed wrong view, like you, you're you think you know there's no rebirth and you won't think about changing your mind but some people might think oh there's no rebirth but then begin to hear about it they begin to have doubts and mind starts to slowly change <laughs> yeah, someone who goes against it, maybe, right? So it has to be, it's like one person says there's no past and future life, and the other person just don't know there's past and future life, and he doesn't say there's no past and future life, he doesn't say there's past and future life, but he doesn't know that, that is, there is a past and future life, right? So that's more like mind. But this one says, no, there's definitely no past and future lives. So and so said there's no one, so therefore there's no past and future lives. So that's very like strict, being very strict, like very strong. And uh, so in order to have this uh, wrong view, do you have to be someone very strict or, you know, someone who just don't know that there is a past and future lives? So that's yeah, your yeah. question. Yeah. 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 If you don't know or, you, or if when you hear about it, you begin to have doubt. Yeah, yeah that's it. So then, uh, but then what about the you know the end, you know, yeah, walking yeah, around, right, or crawling around? Uh, is that does it have a have this wrong view or no? <laughs> 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 
Doesn't have view at all. Doesn't have view? Doesn't have thought? No, no, because it doesn't know. It doesn't know that there is a past and future life, right? Yeah. So not knowing that there is a past and future life is the wrong view here or no? No. So like a child that's never yeah. even heard of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think that really they need so to that has, that maybe then answers that, you know, uh, there has to be a the strict one, you know, saying that no, there's no past and future because so and so said like that or something like that. I mean, he told that I do let Kiwach and then the wine water. Let do much then drive the car and the Kiwach money police. So because if you don't believe in past and future life, then it's difficult to believe in karmic law from cause and cause and effect. Right? Because when you do something good, you get a good. When you do something bad, you get bad. So, but how do you prove that? You know, like you've been doing so good, but you don't get any good, right? There are so many people who's doing so good, but don't get so good. Now what happens? You know, but we say, yeah, no, you got to you got to get the good in the future life. That's why we do the good things, you know. Because we don't have to have it, get it right now. The result, the good result, we don't have to get it right now. We can get it in the future. Yeah. Therefore, we do it now. So, therefore, in, in order to really accept you know, the karmic law of cause and effect, you have to accept you know, the past and future life. For example, like, you did very good things here, but you all bad things happen. Why? Because you did maybe previous, previous, previous life do very bad things, and you are you know, there with the condition you got experience for bad things. Okay, Deborah? So I had a question. Um, so is a materialistic view the same thing as a nihilistic view? That's because Shisoba says that that's wrong view. Nihilistic or materialistic. Are those the same or are they different? Nihilistic is so what is materialistic? It's really the opposite end of the spectrum, right? Like a materialistic view, you say you don't think so? I think that materialism would be the opposite end of the spectrum. Materialism is like material science where they think that once the body is um, gone, then uh, life ends. Like, is that what you mean, Deborah? Like, it, what they say in material science? Like, that. That's probably what it, what it means. It probably doesn't mean the same thing that once the body's gone, the mind's gone, or there's no future lives, you know. So, karma doesn't matter, you know, what you do doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds like, um, you know, the, like no, no past and future life. Yeah. <laughs> So, but nihilism, you know, like when we talk about nihilism, means like it doesn't exist. If it doesn't exist truly, then it doesn't exist at all. So like that, if it has to, if it exists, it has to exist truly. If it doesn't exist truly, then it doesn't exist at all. So that would be the nihilism, right? And uh, in this case, you know, I don't think it has to be that, you know, kind of, that kind of wrong view. And uh, so just, if, just if you don't believe in the past and future life, uh, or karmic law of cause and effect, then that's the wrong view that's referring to here. Okay, thank you. Okay, now we have no question. What the question is? One, but so it's just as we're talking, I couldn't help but think that we all have wrong view to a degree. What? Oh, yeah. Why? Because, like, if I think I believe in reincarnation, that's still a conceptual understanding. Until I've actually saw back 10 lifetimes myself, you know what I mean? It's not wrong, but it's not perfectly right either. Like, almost anything, unless you're not really enlightened. I thought we had getting better. It's mostly, it's not. We are all blessed. <laughs> <laughs> we are all. <coughs> Don't say that, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, basically, we all have the wrong view. Yeah. Usually, I talk about you know, this is different view. I talk about we always say what I think, what I say, what I'm this correct. This is wrong view. Because if we are not that problem, we don't have any problems. Everyone that. Everyone's I'm he's she's right. She's he's not right. She's not, I'm the only the right person. No, so you we all have the wrong view. But I think that this kind of this 
this here the top bottom we miss who don't believe cause and effect and who do don't believe that now fast project lab particularly that okay now what what we need interested in here understand over here is we need very important okay because i am not the wrong view person don't say i'm wrong view person okay if you are the wrong view person you will not get you know the so we went through this, right? We went through the, the, the barbarian and the, the unintelligent and dense. We are neither of those two, right? Then you are, we are not uh, born in the, so we don't have the wrong view either, we said. And uh, we are not born as animal, right? So what's wrong with being animal? Can animals practice dharma? They can do circumambulation. You know, when we have the small black skull, he did not follow me the circumambulation two, three times. Give the nuts, he'll rock it. Very difficult for them to follow down. Actually, exactly. Yes. Sure, sir. So, in the black squirrel circumambulating, they are accumulating some merit, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So, if I put water bowls out and offer them to the Buddha Dharma Sangha, and my cat drinks from the water bowl, he's therefore stealing from the three jewels, which the heavy karma now. So, should I offer it to the Buddha Dharma Sangha and with my cat? What happens to <laughs> そうそう、やっぱりそうだ。ただこう、ね、シミュレーションで、これこの件はこっちから通ってこう、で、自分経営もあるから。いや、会社がメトナ、ね、中で、やっちゃうちでメトナ路へ回す。で、メトカンボス
Uh, so this is important, you know, to identify these ones, you know, so that we know that we can appreciate and, you know, make a good use of it, right? So, so we talked about the, the unintelligent and dense, right? We're not that. We were talking about the barbarian. We're not that. We're not animals, right? We're not hungry ghosts. So what happens if you are hungry ghosts? Can't you practice dharma? Well, some hungry ghosts are intelligent enough to um, understand dharma teachings. Which which uh, which uh, which hungry ghosts? You're spending all your time looking for something to eat or drink, right? And, and there's a potential in, in for some hungry ghosts, right? Which hungry ghosts? Not that you would aspire to that, but. So you are saying that you don't, you know, that it's, it's, it doesn't mean that if you are born in high God, then you can't practice Dharma at all, right? Right, right. So but you you have the uh, you don't you have the less freedom to practice dharma, less right. leisure to practice dharma. Right. If you are. Give me yes. one example. Yes, yes. So can you give an example of a hungry ghost, like encounters you know, in the stories or somewhere where it says, oh, such and such hungry ghost, you know, like you know we talk about the ant that went through the circumambulation of the, the stupa and then was able to become monk at the time of Buddha. <coughs> Many years ago, he was yeah. born as an animal, like that, you know, that kind of card. So at that time, when he was born as an animal, he was able to practice Dharma. And as a result, you know, he was able to become monk at the time of Buddha. Like that. Have you heard of any account like that of the hungry ghost? Um, no. you know? It's a so like that, like you have to give an example like that, you know. So like animal, we talked about that, right? So, yeah. you know, we there was this account, you know, of the old man trying to become a monk, but nobody would allow him because they don't see he's married. But then later, Buddha saw he's married from the time when he was born as an ant, and so had happened to circumambulate the stool, but even you know without his knowledge or intention. You would ask, can you? Yeah, can, okay, can, can you practice? Can so, anybody else from the Zoom? I have a question about that, Geshe-la. The hung yes, yeah. yeah, so, um, but there are stories of, um, I don't know what is it in English, the Chinese name is Mu Tianlian, uh, a bodhisattva who went to hell realm to give teachings to the hell beings. So there must be benefit of doing that, right? That that the um, you know the bodhisattva can go to the hell realm and give teachings to the hungry ghosts, the hell beings, to give them imprints, and so that they can eventually practice. I don't know, or maybe they get the imprint so that they can finish their karma and and learn. yeah. Yes, I will. Uh -huh. Yeah, I can add to that. I know in Taiwan there is a bodhisattva called Ditsang Wang Pusa who can go to the hell realms and do teachings. And this, but I think the meaning of um, the hungry ghost is that it is extremely unlikely and extremely difficult for them to be able to practice dharma because they suffer so much. It's just like humans have it just right. We're not in the God realms where we're distracted by all the pleasures and everything's beautiful and excitement and happy and whatever. We have enough of a taste of suffering to know, uh oh, I better be careful, but not so much suffering that we're blitzed out and we lose our minds and can't practice at all. That's my point. Thank you. Okay, you have an example? No, I, I was just answering your question. You said, yeah. is it possible, right, for a whole being to be able to... Some of them have the potential to be receptive to Dharma teachings, they I was thinking that 
even if they can, you know, receive maybe just one teaching and be able to do something to create merit, yeah. they don't really have the leisure to really practice deeply yeah. the way we have the leisure, the potential mm -hmm. to spend a lot of time learning and a lot of time meditating. And, so the, the, the point here, you know, is that uh, when you know, you have to understand, you have to identify yourself not being that, right? So when you know that you are not that, oh, I'm very fortunate, you know, so you have to understand how fortunate you are because you are not that. And then, so like that, you know, so we are not, uh, you know, um, uh, 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 holding wrong views, right? And we don't have, uh, we're, we're not born as, a, uh, you know, as an animal or as a hungers or as a hell being, right? Are we, are we born in a hell being, as a hell being or not? Not, not born in a place, uh, in a remote place, you know, where there's no Buddha's teaching, like barbarians, right? And uh, not also, you know, uh, born in a, born as someone, you know, who, without the, the facilities you know, to practice the Dharma, even though the Dharma was available around. So, or as a long life God, it says the long life God, you know, it's, uh, it's usually, you know, it's a long the God, you know, without uh, the discrimination. So they have this only two discriminations, you know, uh, or the, the, the recognition saying that, oh, I'm born here. And then they live for eons there. And then, then when they're about to die, then they, they have this another recognition saying that I'm dying from here. Oh, I'm I'm going away. From, I'm, I'm you know passing away from here like that. So that's that kind of you know long life God uh, doesn't have the practice you know, the opportunity to practice Dharma. So because because of this condition or because of um, being born as such and such such and such, they don't have that uh, leisure. Or the opportunity to practice Dharma. <coughs> so even if you are born as um, a human being or born as a human being in this world, uh, you don't, you still don't have the opportunity to practice Dharma. <coughs> like like someone you know with the wrong view you know, in this world who will not practice Dharma, right? <coughs> and therefore, like not you know, holding the wrong view, you know, is very fortunate. And we are not born in a remote place, but in a place you know, where the Buddha's teaching you know, is available, so therefore we are fortunate also, right? Uh, so even if the Buddha's teaching is around, but if we are you know, not intelligent enough you know, to to study and practice, then you know we will not be able to, we will not be, you know, uh, we will not have the the, the, um, the opportunity, right? But we are, you know, we are free from that, so therefore we are very fortunate. And like that, also if you are born as a long life god, then you don't have the opportunity to practice dharma. Mimo
So what are the what is the fourth one? And I said the four of the human and four of the non-human, right? So non-humans, you know, we have uh, animal, honey, ghost, hell, and long life God, right? And of the human, we have a wrong view, uh, barbarian, and um, unintelligent and dense. And then what's the fourth one? Where there are no teachings of the Buddha. That's the same, no? I think, or maybe there, there are no teachings of Buddha and the barbarian in the, in the remote places. I um. Is, does it mean where, or it says where, but I'm wondering if it means when there are no teachings of the Buddha. Uh, no, no, I don't think it's when, yeah. It's created from being born at a time when the founder Buddha hasn't appeared. No, no, that's the and richness. Being born. The richness. That's what oh, you're talking about the endowments? The ed, ed ledgers, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that is, that's freedom from being born in a time when a founder Buddha hasn't appeared. That's not part of the leisures. Where no. no teachings of the group. No, that one is the richness, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the endowments, 10 endowments. Being a place where there's no teaching of the Buddha, no Buddha's teaching, it's one by itself. And then the barbarian, born as a barbarian, in a place where there's remote. It's a second, different one. Oh, yeah, you're talking about the law of the law. Yeah. Yeah, so those two, I, I think, maybe, right? So you have to, you know, the separate those two, like barbarian and a remote place. Oh, oh like the, where there's no teaching to the Buddha and a barbarian. It's different here. Yeah. And then, um, so the, the non humans are you know, long life God. Animal, Holy Ghost, and uh, Hell beings. Yeah. Uh, and so, uh, if you have this, you know, if this, if you have these non freedoms, then you have no opportunity to practice Dharma. But we are very fortunate uh, because we, we don't have any of these ones, right? Right. So you all understand when you uh, explained about the Dharma, right? Is it right? Some people even understand. Hey Jeff, you understand? He's sleeping. <laughs> anyway, hey, hey JJ. Yes, I understand. I feel like I understand. Jada, Jada, that thing is going on. Oh, culture they use that is much more. Social they mind that oh, cow some more, she has some more. And so, not saying that you know, oh, they don't have that. They have, they're not like this. That's not saying like because you know, it's to <coughs> to oneself. Say, oh, I don't have that. Therefore, I'm very fortunate. And uh, and then he says. Then after that, he says that we know to press the armor. Just being free from that is not good enough. And then you have to have the ten endowments like. So first of all, which is you have to be a human. Right? So if you are not human, can you practice Dhamma? Well, there's certain, isn't there, there's certain, like, um, form gods that can, but they just can't generate the path of seeing. Yeah, so there could be an uncommon one, but in commonly there's no no one who can practice Dharma without uh, being born as human being. And, uh, and then you have to be born in the central place, central land, uh, where uh, and so where there are the, the, the four group of Sanghas. Uh, uh, there uh, are this place you know, with the four groups of I mean, four groups of four group of sangha, four group of sangha. What place here? Yeah. In at Kurukula Kuru Kuru Center. I know. No, that's that. It's not a computer. So we don't have the endowment. <laughs> <laughs> but there are there are more ordained sangha outside of Kurukula Center. Yeah, but there's no fully ordained nuns. <laughs> Uh, 
like uh, so the four group of sangha, not groups but group of sangha it's called like the two man and the two fully uh, ordained man and female like monk and nun fully ordained monk and fully ordained nun but in so tibet, tibet, you know, but in tibet there's no full ordination available because the lineage was broken yeah exactly so yeah, usually, you know, yeah, in the four uh, a group of Sangha, it's like, you know, um, of, uh, I'll say that uh, a novice monk and novice nun. Yeah, so that's two. And then um, um, then uh, the lay, you know, the male, female, then a lay, female practitioner and lay, a male practitioner. So you can have those two, I guess, a four. And, and then other place, you know, they also they count the uh, fully ordained monk or fully ordained nun as well. So, like his own when he gives uh, the, the initiation, you know, it has to, it requires the group of four um, you know, the, the sons. And then, uh, so in order to fulfill that, he will always give the uh, the lay vows, the upasika vows, at the time when he's giving the initiation, so that there will be all four group of sangas. So, like, even though it's not the here at the Guru Guru Center, but you know, we have in the world, right? So, the teaching you know, is flourishing in the world, so that's good enough, I think. We are born as human beings, we are born in the center land. Okay. Eight ledgers, right, and then ten uh, richnesses or ten endowments. You know, so uh, you you can search for that in the Lamin. So you know, in order to be able to practice Dharma well, you have to have all the favorable conditions together and be free from the unfavorable conditions. So what is you know, our duty, you know, is to find out whether that's really or that's true or not, you know, with ourselves, you know, whether we have we are we have that or not. We, do we have that uh, eight ledgers and ten dollars or not? So the <laughs> And so if you see that, you know, if you don't see that within yourself, then you will not appreciate it. Or you will not feel that, you know. So, so, or they have it here in the life. Not that that will not help you, you know. So, if you think that you have that that that, then you will, you know, so feel the option, the the fortunate, you know, how fortunate you are to have that, and then you will not waste it like that. You know? Okay, this is very important because practice means like that. You know, for study, we say okay, you can check out who that who that that's true, but through the study, we practice more important than. Study. When we study, we just hold what we can read, but we don't practice. It really doesn't matter. Therefore, what this can't we what we what do we need to understand? What need to do we will appreciate. I am not one of them. Therefore, I am not you or say waste my time. Doesn't mean don't go walk. Don't do your you know daily things. You can do like maybe sixty percent. 60 60 percent you do things you are what you're doing 40 percent to them maybe too much about 70 percent you do anything about 30 percent you give dharma it's like that that's those things practice means what i am not waste my time i'm very lucky i have all the colleges what i need therefore we do we choose awareness that 
usually we also we, we, it is important for us is it awareness for we have that look at the market now you take on your cash right yes are you happy you don't yeah, much I'm... feel you don't much feel i'm very Hope happy i'm i'm Hope. very glad i have legs <laughs> Most of the tech are very happy. You can take a shower, it's very, you can do anything. Then after we forgot, right? Usually we have like some softening, go away, we don't feel the happiness for that. Like right now, here, very, where the temperature is very good, very good. We don't really feel. We go out that like, oh, is that very good? We only feel that. Anyway, this is study, this study. What we need, I am a lucky person. Do I have these qualities? If I'm free from that, I'm lucky. I'm going to push it for my previous life. Okay? This is a very important. Okay? Then you guys uh, uh, find another voice here. Ten, ten, ten dollars. Ten dollars. Okay? This is you know, pretty similar. <coughs> okay? What number should I do? Timber for money, for money, for money. Then so now I was looking at the uh, for the the, the four uh, types of uh, like the followers of uh, Buddha's and uh, Samayas. Uh, like so that's it says like one female and female householders, and novice monk and nun, uh, fully ordained monk and nun, and then ordained layman and lay woman. So we have to have all these. That's the the, the disciples. I see it's like the followers of Buddha. Four follow four types of followers of Buddha. And they call like words with Jesus. あ、ちまぶつまで。ちまぶつまで。ちまぶつまで。だでコースで、サンゲコナスまで。コナムシ。コナムシセ。え、パイ。サンゲコナでコレス、エンジェミジダ、サンゲゲ、サンゲゲ
Is that to fulfill the definition of a, a border region where for the for the eight for for the for the yeah for the four four followers four types of followers that, that, that are not active like because if you in the where you're you're lacking the leisure that that the, well, in this, the border region because that's what it's saying here it says being reborn in a border region in which the four types of followers yeah for yeah. are not active yeah, yeah. so that's what you're saying is sometimes it's it uh, act, they're not active. You know, what do you mean? Not please? active. They're not there. They're so that's what defines a border region. Oh, I you see. You know, like um, a barbarian in a remote <coughs> place. Like, so the remote place would be the place where there's no. So you want to deny that because I'm going to do that. You're going to change your mind. That's wrong. They are not there. You have to see that. 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 You have to see so like there's two way of counting. You know? So one way of you know uh, defining the central land, you know, is like say, oh, Bodhgaya is the central land. Okay. And the other way is if there are four types of followers, then that's the central land. Okay, that's a four. That's a different way of counting. What are the four <laughs> four types of disciples again? There's no fully ordained none in Tibet. So if you go with that definition, like, like Lama Tsongkhapa said, and then uh, because there's no fully ordained none in Tibet, then you might you might have to say there's no all four types of you know, followers of the Buddha. And then if that is the case, then you have to say there's no uh, not all of the eight ledgers and ten endowments in Tibet. Tibet. That's it. 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 That's it's too bad only. So that would be like a Okay, then we have to pray. We have to pray with the, to pray with the Lama Tsongkhapa. And the <laughs> But anyway, there's a different way of counting. Okay, yes. What is exactly a ordained lay person? She's a Kenya, a Kenya ma. So a lay person you know, with the ordination. You want to have the ordination? See, like, you know, in vow, ordination means vow, right? Yeah. Oh, that's the lay vow, you know, the lay vows. So if you have the lay vows, that's the, yeah, the lay person with the vow. Yeah. Oh, okay. So like the lay vows, and how many, there are five lay vows, right? But in order to be lay vow uh, holder, you don't have to have all the five, right? You can take one. You, you don't think two. of the word ordination. What's the minimum? Two, right? Or, or one, or two, yeah. or? That's just yeah, one, one. Right? You can just take one or more than one. So you can, more than one can be, you know, two, three, four, four up to five. So, or, or maybe up to four. And then there's a, the full uh, lay vow, means like all five of them. Okay. Maybe you want to do well, Let that mean you're ordained. Yes, that means you're Okay, because okay, that's all the story. But don't think you're the deaf, because you become monk, not deaf. So then again, you know, this is the, the ordination, it's like the vow. <laughs> you have a vow, you know, as a monk or as a lay person. Okay. Yeah, even when you do the eight Mahayana precepts, they call it an ordination. Yeah. yeah. Do you do it for him? I guess it's from a Western thing. I, when I hear the ordination, I, I think of something very different. It's like a monk. Yeah. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Reverend or whatever. Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 In Tibet, you know, there's a tradition of people taking the lay vow. Yeah. If you're a lay person, you take the lay vow. Okay, are you guys living there? Sorry, if you had more than. Thank you, okay, Thank you so much, Dom Shov. Thank you, Geshe. <coughs> you guys both, sorry that. Never bored. Who's <laughs> going? James go away. Tenji's go away. Oh, no, go away. That's it. Eating that.
Okay, now we put it here for the chat. No, okay, Sheila, I'm on, I'm on the way. I'm going go away, Angie. <laughs> good, good, good. I'm just kidding you, no go away, okay, yeah. Please turn to page 39 for the Thanksgiving London offering. Uh, Even if I do not reach the state, may I be held in a loving compassion for all my life's monetary, may I find the best of complete graded class of the teachings, and may I please all the ways by practicing. Using skillful means to the of compassion, may I clear the darkness from the mind of all beings and the points of the path as I have discerned them. May I call Buddhist teachings for a very long time. With my heart going out with great compassion in whatever direction, the most precious teachings have come to spread, or will spread happy blind. May I reveal this treasure of happiness May the minds of those who wish for liberation be granted And the Buddhist states be nourished for a long time. May even this great fortune of life conduct of the Buddhist no, children. May all human and non-human beings who have limited diversities to make things conducive for practicing the excellent past never be parted in any of their lives which the church has created by the Buddha. Whenever someone makes them act in accordance with the ten of and virtuous practices, may they always be assisted by the many ones and the notions of prosperity for them. In that circle so you who uphold as the doers more away from the world, by the world, the world, the world, the world, the world, the world, the the world, the world, the world, the 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 Bless each other, Thank <laughs> you. 